Okay. I did that for a reason, so I hope everybody was listening. Okay? Okay? Would you like to pose that question again so that everybody can hear it and think about that as for when they have an opportunity for a redirect? Okay? Go ahead and ask the question again. All right? Very simple. It's one question. And think about if it has any kind of power. Was the KHS or public staff providing a safe, free, and appropriate public education? From what I saw and was told, they were not. Okay. Okay. That's redirection. What What's the point of redirection? What does it do? Uh, Somebody raise your hand. What do you think it does? Yeah? Uh, it makes... Yeah, you can say. Okay, yeah. it makes it so, uh, like, if I say, if I were to go up there and, like, say, make a fool of myself, I'm angry, I'm prepared, uh, come and make my argument look or, or even if you got the witness scattered, right? Yeah. Like, let's say they did a good job of questioning, and then you guys came up, and the witness kind of got flustered or nervous or scattered. And kind of, so the information starts to get muddled, right? Okay? You would then use redirection as a way to do what? Just, yeah. Organize their thoughts. Organize their thoughts and calm them down and restate the belief, right? He didn't seem very clustered. He walked over. I feel like that was. I know, but I wanted, I wanted to, to make sure that that was across. That's what you would use, listen, that's what you would use redirection for. Got it? Got it. Okay. So that's something that you guys are going to have the opportunity to do with three different witnesses. Right? So you may want to think about that. But that's something that you're going to have to process on the fly. Right? You're going to have to process that while it's happening. Okay. Go ahead. Have a seat. Can I object that if you could have chosen any cheaper option, why did you choose? Because I'm a well, anyways, Oh, that was a question. That would have been a question to ask earlier. So I would think about where you can place that question when you're talking to your witnesses. Got it? Got it. Okay. Or fix it into your closing statement. Uh, we have any other witnesses you'd like to call? Yes, I'd like to call to the stage, Alex. Order. We need to stop talking while the people are talking in my courtroom. Understood? Okay. Let's go. Okay, we'll stand. Please place your hand on the red mouse. They had a different thing after. <laughs> Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yeah. Have a seat. Um, so could you please state your age, um, how old you are, and what school you're currently attending? Um, my name is Alex Billings. I'm 14, and I go to SCH. Okay. Um, when did you first meet CJ Pearson? At KHS Freshman Orientation, August 16. Um, after meeting him at the orientation, did you ever meet up with him outside of school? Um, later that week, on August 27th, we met at a club and hung out there. Okay, um, could you describe what your first negative experience was with CJ? It was the night we met at the club. He called me terrible names and went and started making fun of me the whole night. Um, after the incident at the club, did the harassment ever continue? Yeah, he continued to be mean to me and angry with crap, especially. Jerry would get to the class to laugh at me, even the teacher would join him. It made me feel so alone in that class room and even the school because the teacher didn't say anything to make it stop. Um, did he contact you ever outside of school or during school time? He repeatedly texted me even during school. I realized that it wasn't supposed to bring my phone to school, but I needed it. Then my dad called me and told me he was working late. On September 14, 2010, you received a text message from Pearson. Could you tell the court what it said? He texted me saying, stop looking up for our English teacher. Um, what did, what was your response to that text? I told him to stop texting me in class. I would just like the court to know that Alex Billings did not initiate, initiate the conversation during class and instead asked the defendant to stop messaging him, messaging him during class period. Did he continue to say anything after telling him to stop? After I told him to stop, he told me, I would tell you to stop being ugly, but I guess you can't help it. 
and where are you from, Alex? I know you aren't from Metro City looking like that. After this encounter, how did that make you feel? I felt miserable. He had texted me times before and I just blew it off. But now, he was texting me during school. I just didn't know what to do. I felt hopeless because his heart for it and full of tears. Um, on October 15, 2010, CJ tried to initiate in a conversation through text messaging. Could you please tell the court what was said? He started a conversation and said, Alex, you are the dirtiest looking person I have ever seen. I said, why are you doing this? What did I do to you? He replied, well, you came to school looking like that. Your outfit and haircut are offensive and you keep saying stupid things in class. After that conversation, how did it affect your emotional state? It made my self-confidence drop. It was a never-ending circle of hatred. I wanted to stop coming to school completely. I couldn't stand to go to a place for eight hours a day of being bullied for being myself. Um, I'd like to present the Exhibit B in a, a My Face page titled I Hate Alex Billings. The posts are made by CJ Pearson, and there were six posts made on the account and we will be discussing the last two. Can you give the court an account on what was said on these last two posts? He said, stop coming to school the only one wants you here. A few classmates commented. The last one was May, December 1st. He captioned it, this is for you. Um, what was the image again? Um, of a gun and ammo. Uh, can you please describe to the court how these my face posting made you feel? I just wanted all the teachers stop. Everyone was treating me like a, like I had a disease. I felt like garbage after reading all those books and comments made about me. Oh, how much everyone hated me. Um, during the course of this emotional and verbal abuse, why did your grades and attendance drop? My grades and attendance dropped because I wanted to, wanted to stay home and play video games to numb my mind and off my life outside of video games because if I did, I would break down you had it at that time? Just clarify. Okay. Um, can you confirm that you did show Mr. The Cook, Mr. Cook the exchanges between you and the Yes, I did. I showed him the word text that she I told him I was in the school for everyone treating me badly. Um, what is your current attendance and grade status at um, St. John's Academy? I have all these um, why, why do you think your grades have improved so much and your attendance has, like, you have no missing days? My grades have gotten better because I come to school and want to learn. I wasn't in school with people constantly poking fun at me, and the teachers did, stood entirely by. Um, how has changing schools affected you? I'm such a happy person now. I've been able to focus on my school and spend time with my dad and younger siblings, but I'm still suffering from anxiety because of what happened with CJ. I want everyone to understand that this isn't over every day. It is a constant struggle to forget about the abuse I went through. No further questions. Redirect? Uh, yeah. I mean cross-examination. Cross-examination. Thank you. Judges love that. <laughs> You're welcome. Can you restate the question? Uh, here, I'll just go to this one. <laughs> Is it true that the seniors you talked to at orientation taught you to skip school and give the office a fake number? Yeah. And did you give the school a fake number? Yeah. So you were already planning to skip school? And when you skipped school, you played up all night playing video games, right? And when you were playing video games, you also influenced your other friends to play video games with you, correct? Um, one second. Sorry. Coach. 
Um, I'd like to make an objection. Okay, so the way we do that is we make an objection. <laughs> okay, yeah, I know, but <laughs> um, objection, narration. Okay, explain. She was saying that she so-called convinced her friends to stay and play video games with her as well, but the defendant clearly never said that. Does she withdraw her statement? Or um, any response? What were you trying to do with the question? Uh, in the witness statement, said that she meet up with friends and play video games. Would you like to restate your question to mm -hmm. highlight that information? I'm in the house, I'll just get there. So, Let me pull up my receipts. <laughs> Quiet, please. Hey, just so that you know, if I'm providing feedback to one of the people in this whole process, it's not a green light to start talking and being loud. Okay, you allow me to do what I'm doing because I'm helping everybody out. I think you'll notice that I'm trying to equally provide feedback to help this go better for everyone. So, relax, be calm, be respectful, and let me move forward. Got it? Hey, order. Order. Let's return to your desk. Order. I will have order in this courtroom. <laughs> Did you ever ask anyone to meet with you to play games while you were Um, is it true that you never gave the note that Justine Kate Cook gave you to give to your parents? Yes. That, I forgot the other two. Is it okay? No further questions? Yeah. Okay. Is it okay if I do like the first part of the redirect and then Sam does like the second part? Or suitor? I'll rolling. Tomorrow with that. Yeah. Redirect. Okay. So, um, oh yeah, these are things. At the start of the school year, did you have any intention whatsoever that you would purposely skip every, like, for a long period of time to play video games with your friends? Could you clarify that question? Restate it. Did you purposely, at the beginning of the school year, have an intention to play video games all day? No. Um, so, like you said earlier, you didn't hand the note to, what's her name, Justine? No, to her parents. To, to your parents. Is that true? Yeah. We'll have a chance to redirect when we get back. Recess for a day. Um, I already asked that question. <laughs>